Hey guys, it's Farmer Brad here. I just received a shipment, a large box. I want to bring you along with sort of the next phase of Farmer Brad LLC. Um, leave down in the comments what you think this box is. It's from GQF Manufacturing Company in Savannah, Georgia. says fragile do not drop so we will try not to drop it and let's see if I can pull out these so I've been raising meat birds for three years and I'm needing to focus on what works and meat birds take a lot of time to raise. It takes eight weeks to raise. I want to thank everyone that has ordered a automatic chicken water bucket and um, that helps support the YouTube channel and support the farm. But this item here, before I open the box, make sure to leave down in the comments what you think is in the box and then you'll see what's in the box moments later. Um, but this, sort of the next phase, so one aspect is focusing on the automatic chicken water buckets, since that's what, um, does well, and moving over, let's see. destroy the box in case I have to send it back. Let's see which side has um, okay, I'm just going to I'm do this box because Cardboard cut. Let's see. Just trying to find a good way to get a hold of this thing. Wow, this is way bigger than I thought it was. But, um, if you didn't guess it, this is a GQF 1502 Sportsman Digital Thermostat Equipped Incubator. Let's open this up. So when I got this, I thought this was just, um, I didn't realize it was so deep. Let me get this packaging out from under here. But the goal with this incubator is I have a nice breed of dual purpose Australops that uh, I have a rooster that comes up three quarters of the way to my, on my leg. And so I'm going to breed out good egg laying and meat bird options with this incubator. Mainly because uh, 
baby chicks have a 21 day turnaround uh, compared to the eight weeks of meat birds. So this is a key piece of equipment in order to allow for that to happen. So here is the incubator, front door, and up here is the water basin, and then there's three trays for the eggs, and then down here is where the eggs hatch. Now I did not realize that these are so deep. I thought I was only going to be able to get one tray in there. Now I'm going to get the other egg trays out of the box and place them in there. So here are the green ones are the large eggs and hopefully we'll be able to incubate some ducks and some geese, uh, partly because the two ducks that we have are my grandfather who passed away, gave them to my wife on her birthday and I'd like to keep that duck line going on um and then these yellow ones are for chicken eggs so i'll have to double check um and figure out how many but basically the idea is you start one row uh one week then the next week you start the next row and then the last week you add the top one and then seven um basically in 21 days chicken eggs will be hatched so then you'll be able to put them in the bottom and then just keep it going and just cycling through so each row will be hatching each week once this system is full um so um i'm really excited about it i'm gonna take you along on this journey of uh sort of making a hatchery from scratch and uh, thanks for watching and till next time.